What do we have here? We got the Reich Knife Knight. Spelled like, you know, the Dark Knight. Not that it's Batman related, really, but Batman would carry this, maybe. I mean, look, it's got cool kind of cutouts in it. You can kind of see through it. Maybe you could throw it like a batarang. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's a knight. Um, it has this added thumb stud to it. I could have taken it off for the video, but I felt like, you know, I'm too lazy to do that, so I didn't do it. But otherwise, it's stock. Just kind of been worn in a little bit. When it came, it was a little stiff. Uh, but now it's not quite drop shutty, but you would say shake shutty. Reich is an interesting company. They're kind of, you wouldn't say they were big. They're certainly not like a Wii or something like that. They started out doing OEM stuff. So they started out building knives for other companies or designers who didn't have the tooling to make large scale batches. Uh, the founder was Richard Wu. Um, that's your history lesson on Reich. Richard Wu was a, a guy who liked knives, basically, and also knew about machining. It's not a small knife, that's for sure, although it's a little, you would say, not very tall this way. It, it feels kind of slim top to bottom. Width-wise, it's hmm, pretty standard feeling, but a little short this way for how long it is. It's a almost a nine inch long knife, eight and three quarters, something like that. Maybe eight and seven eighths. The blade is almost four inches. It's probably four inches if you counted it from here to the end. But I think from here it's like 3.9, something like that. Great action, really, after a little break in. Titanium handle, obviously, and uh, M390 blade. Fairly thick blade. Um, I think it's, what was it, uh, four millimeter, uh, 0.15 inches. So not thin. I had to uh, cut this thumb stud out a bit to get it to fit on there. The uh, flipper tab, it's a little big, but it is a no miss flipper tab, that's for sure. It's very knurled. Lots of jimping, knurling, whatever you want to call it across there. You can't miss that sucker, and you can't really misfire it. It's not happening. Um, obviously, it has this cutout here that you can do your reverse flick. And you could probably open it with your thumb, but it didn't work super well for me, so I added the thumb stud, which now I can definitely pop it with that. So, there's your Reich Knife Knight. Yeah, I would recommend it, but realize that it will be a little tight when you get it. The detent uh, on that lock bar presses pretty hard on the blade, especially at first till it gets worn in. And there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of drop shuddiness to it till you get it worn in. This is after who knows how many openings, a thousand, whatever. But it's a very cool knife. Feels good in the hand. Comes very sharp. Have a nice day.